the main goals of the International Week we did this year in EADA was uh, to, sh to introduce to a group of, of, of students of different masters, uh, finance, uh, marketing, project management, etc., about uh, how humanitarian NGOs work uh, and, uh, and also uh, to uh, present all the different relationships that can, we can establish between humanitarian uh, sector and private sector. And uh, the reality is that, that they were not aware, they, 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 really, uh, they, they really didn't know how many opportunities there's, there's, there are to talk to each other and to collaborate. And I think it was, it was very positive. I mean, the evaluation was very good. Myself, I was very pleased with the experience. So I'm looking forward uh, to, to continue with these international weeks in the coming years. The last day of the training, I mean, we try to put in practice everything we learn. So we do a practical exercise here in Coibato that is basically building up a refugee reception center and a refugee camp. And I think well, it was it was very valid first because the students were able to put in practice mm, uh, what they learned during the week, so they saw uh, their evolution. And second, because I mean, uh, it's a learning by doing. So you touch materials, I mean, and, and you better you get a very good understanding of, of how the uh, well, uh, uh, ca ca you, you you approach the reality to some extent. And I think it's, it's simply it's very very helpful in terms of reinforcing some con concepts and, and really you know hammering some ideas that. that are the key messages of this week. We really believe in this kind of activities where we put students out of their normal context. This is not a business game, this is not a decision-making case, this is something absolutely different. And in this way, they are due to use very basic skills and abilities that are going to be transversal and useful in many different uh, contexts. So in here we can observe and we can train abilities like uh, team building, communication skills, uh, creative thinking, um, leadership, uh, innovation maybe, if they, they find uh, a different way than the standard that the experts can bring to contrast. And um, even competition and collaboration can be observed depending on the amount of uh, people and teams that you can make. At the end of the day, they are creating something which is tangible and this is another value because they can contemplate their work. They can see if they are happy about the quality, the, the resource management and the way that they have been working. And their key learning points are very uh, easy to put in front of the participants and to create insights. Then the participants realize about the possible different patterns of action that they could have been taken. One of the main learnings that I had observed in myself, and I, I can compare this to other decision-making activities that are pencil and paper that this is hands-on, is the way that uh, teams can generate ideas and solutions uh, with the synergy going beyond the individual contributions. Because we are not experts, in this uh, emergency, humanitarian emergencies. And we have uh, generated ideas based on the common sense. And uh, starting with our ignorance, we have created something which is a quite suitable and possible solution.